and I weren't separable But you taught me so much All I do is sit and wear my nest Cause girl you know I miss your touch What's going on everyone? My name is Michael Isaiah And I'm an upcoming hip hop artist and R&B artist And I'm also a songwriter I say when I was a little kid, because I'd be the type of kid that would always like to play with little musical instruments like microphones and drumsticks and everything else. And as I got older, when I was six to seven years old, I started going in the church choir and I was singing. I was singing as a backup singer with the groups of kids. I was never a, a, um, an actual singer that was singing with the mic because at that time I felt like I wasn't ready for that yet but just behind closed doors I would always pretend that I would have a mic and everything and I would sing and rap and all the other type of stuff at that time and then as I got older once again I started playing instruments when I was in school I would play the flute I would start practicing on playing the piano and I'd also play the trumpet and I'd also try to practice on like using a, um, singing a harmonica, did you like how to deal with the blues and stuff. My roots come from Buffalo, New York, but I was raised in Atlanta. So the way I look at it as Atlanta raised me, but Buffalo, New York made me. I want to be an artist because of the passion that I have for it and because when I do my own creativity when it comes to music people really see that I have that passion and I have that drive and they see me as the type of person that stands out considering the fact that I'm the type of person that stands out anyway so considering the fact that I, that I felt like I was treated as an outcast or treated as an outsider and then when I have my own label music and everything people really see that and all and they respect the fact that I rather stand out than everybody else. Well, you know what? What's going to separate me, I guess, my delivery of music and my distinctive sound, because since I have a distinctive voice and people keep, keep saying that and at first I, I was wondering what, what, what the hell are people talking about when they say distinctive voice? But then when I kept studying my voice and everything, I realized, okay, well, you know, maybe my voice is different. But like I said, you know, I felt like I could bring something different to the table as far as just showing what is it that I can do out of everybody else, you know? Mm, my musical influences, I'd say as far as as far as the hip hop side, my influences are Fabulous, Jada Kiss, um, Jay Z, uh, DMX, Cassidy, and of course Pac and Biggie, those type of rappers. And as you know, as far as the R and B side, there's a whole bunch of them. But you know, just like you know what I was talking about before. My biggest R&B influences come from the 90s R&B era, you know, that's like my big, those are my biggest influences. So that's what I look at as far as my type of music. Yeah, but name some groups. Name some groups. Okay. Um, I'd say Boys to Men, uh, Guy, uh, High Five, and um, one more, I'd say... Uh, well, two more, I'd say Joe to see and then uh, and then Drew Hill. All right, so you like them groups with a lot of harmony and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, one more thing, I also like some of Barry White's music and all, since considering the fact that I always get compared to Barry White. <laughs> Why? 
or because people look at look at that as oh you know you do a thing to where like if you come out with that Barry White type of sound like people will really love that because we need that back again. That baritone? Yeah, that baritone. Right now at this time I'm just looking at recording some singles and right now I'm, I'm doing pretty good and everything is just I'm taking it one step at a time and I'm not rushing it. You know, I want people to, like I said, see who I am as a solo artist and everything. Like I said, I was in a small independent label and I was in a group years ago, but, you know, I broke away because of personal and money issues, but that's another story, you know. But, like I said, I do want to show people my own artistry side as a solo artist so that way people can see me for me and not having to be and nobody's shadow. Um, well, you know what? The music in this generation, in this era, um, I say unfortunately, um, the music, some of the music and everything, I say like some of it is oversaturated and everything, especially with people doing the same type of flow. But, you know, to each his own, people are going to do what they do. But there are some s still very talented artists out there that really have true and natural talent. And uh, I could see them going places. I want to have that type of music that's legendary. The type of music that's, that, that I'm going to have longevity. You know what I mean? I like Kendrick, J. Cole. I like um, Wale, I like Wiz Khalifa, I like, I like, I like um, 2 Chains as well, and Gucci Mane. And as far as R&B, the R&B singers that I like in this era, I am a big Chris Brown fan. Um, I am a Drake fan. I am a Weekend fan, and uh, and as far as that, like I said, I still listen to the R the R and B '90s era too. Mm, you can get to contact me by going to Michael Isaiah underscore eighty nine on Instagram. You can get at me at ZB underscore 89 on Twitter and uh, or either that um, or you could get on my Facebook I'm just Michael Isaiah mm, basically the record is a socially conscious type of record it talks about as far as the stuff that goes in in the political industry and it also just shows as far as awareness, as far as what, what's going on in the world, instead of people like being so blindsided and, and uh, not just... So sorry. it's about the 2016 election? Basically, yes. Yes, it is. Alright, so what made y'all do it? What, what inspired y'all to do the song? Well, you know, we, we were inspired to do it just because we were talking about how the politics are right now and everything. And we was just looking at it was, you know what, you know, like, you know, people like are over there talking about a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's let's talk about something that's relevant now that actually means something, everything that people could relate to that people are sick and tired of seeing and everything is sick and tired of just, you know, looking at, you know, the stuff that's going on that's bad or good or whatever. So let's just talk about it. Let's let's lay it out on the table. Let's speak our mind. They should expect that they will listen and visualize the type of music that I have and everything, and then it'll be the type of music that that could um, that could be on a repeat button and everything, and they could just play it all the time, and not something that like oh they hear it and like oh he's like everybody else because that's I'm not that type of artist. <laughs>